part of the presentation of the Eagle Award uh, is uh, the Eagle Scouts. All the Eagle Scouts in the room, and we know there are a number of us, we will say together the Eagle pro Promise. So if you are an Eagle Scout, I will ask that you please stand. And I won't ask you to memorize the eagle, uh, say it from memory, memory, but I'll ask you to repeat after me the eagle promise. So we have a number of eagle scouts, and you are about to become one. You've earned it, so you will say it along with us. So repeat after me. I, Dale, leap forth. You can say your own thing. I, <laughs> All the eagle scouts will repeat after me. Reaffirm my allegiance. Reaffirm my allegiance. To the three promises of the scout oath. To the three promises of the scout oath. I thoughtfully recognize. And take upon myself the obligations and responsibilities of the rank of Eagle Scout. On my honor, I will do my best to make my training. Sometimes I've tried to do the whole sentence at once, and it's the long one, right? An example of my rank. An example of my rank. And my influence counts strongly. And my influence counts strongly. And for better citizenship. And for better citizenship. In my home. In my home. In my community. In my community. And in my contacts with other people. In my contacts with other people. To this, I pledge my sacred honor. To this, I pledge my sacred honor. Thank you. Eagle Scouts, please be seated. So you're surrounded by a community of Eagle Scouts, and that's what you're joining um, today. Um, and at the Eagle Ceremonies of the Eagle Scouts who stood, they said that same pledge. And um, the words, uh, you, you have the script, you should really read those words and take it to heart, um, as well as the Eagle Scout charge that I'll, I'll give you in a little while. But at this point, we will uh, present the Eagle Award, um, and then we'll have a district presentation, and then we'll um, have the Eagle Scout charge. Probably said light the candle. I don't even know how to do this. Really? See, it's not just me. No, 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 no. He doesn't know how to do the fire. There's like a safety on the lighter, and I'm not used to that. I said there was a safety on the lighter. I'm not used to that. Sorry. Ad lib. That wasn't in the script. Um, Andrew, it's with great pride that I present this eagle badge to your mother, who will pin the badge <laughs> over your heart. of the advice that your father has given you. Yes. Uh, which some of which you should ignore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, will you please pin this eagle father until you're 18, and then you have to put one of these on. So we'll sew it on really fast and then, and then take it on. What? This is the actual eagle patch and recognition of your eagle accomplishments. We want to congratulate you with the eagle patch. And we will get the official certificate membership card in the mail. Uh, what they do is we send up to the Northeast Illinois Council. They send it to the national organization. Um, they approve everything and they'll give back. You'll get your official Eagle membership card, your certificate, and everything that goes along with it. Uh, but as soon as you accomplish your Board of Review, 
um, you were you were an Eagle Scout, and today is really the celebration uh, of that accomplishment. Uh, one of the things, and if you look around the room, you will see some red, white, and blue Eagle neckerchiefs. So we can that replace home. that. Oh, Excellent, my man. And uh, we will try to do our best to put this on. Um, and Andrew will now present his mentor pin uh, for his ego. You get to say a few words as well. Uh, oh, you guys get to stay up here the whole time. <laughs> um, so, usually at these ego ceremonies, a person has one mentor that's kind of guided them through their multiple years of scouting. Um, but I have actually chosen two, um, along with uh, my good friend Charlie Davis, who can't be here today, who has been in scouts with me since the beginning. Um, he's unfortunately he's a counselor up at Camp Makajwa, and so he'll be coming back today, but he can't make it. So um, I'm taking a leaf out of his book and doing two mentors, because honestly, everybody in this room who has been a part of my life, which you all have, could be a mentor. You know, I mean, it's, it's always, you've guided me through all my years of scouts, you know, and you have my parents who have helped me with everything for the last 18 years, and um, I can't thank them enough for it. If I could give them a big, you know, big, you know, ribbon right on the coat there, I would. But um, right now, uh, I'm going to talk about, um, first of all, my first mentor is um, Mr. Jim Davis. He is not here today, unfortunately, because he's going to pick up Charlie, um, so that's... Um, but Mr. Davis has been with me since the beginning of Scouts, since the beginning of um, Cub Scouts. He was always our pack leader. He was literally the support for me um, and all the other um, guys my age for fi those five years in Cub Scouts. He, you know, I, I, he would always have something new to do on campouts, or you, you know, you, 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 would, you would always know if he's, you know, you would know if he's mad. You know, we, we'd be in the tent, we'd be watching The Simpsons on someone's iPod, and you go, "Hey guys, shut up over there! I can hear you." Um, but um, Mr. Davis was a huge, huge part of my scouting career, mainly because he was such a—he was a big, he was a, a role model of sorts in scouts for me. He taught me everything I pretty much knew about scouts at that time, along with everybody else in this room who was um, in the troop and pack. But he also kind of taught me how to be the person and the scout I am right now. You know, I would not have gotten here without Mr. Davis. I, he guided me through all, all those five years of Cub Scouts. My parents can tell you that he was always there to help me. And that was something that stuck out to me because he, that's, that's why I chose him as one of my mentors because he was, he was pretty much my building blocks of my scouting career. He made me this, an Eagle Scout, you know I mean? He was one of those people who you can't replace. Um, so uh, he was my first mentor. I wish I could say, I wish I could bring him up here, but unfortunately I can't, but I will definitely give this to him um, when I see him. And also, my second mentor, I have to grab the other pen, sorry. Um, so I'll take it out of the package. I want to keep it nice and clean. Um, so my second mentor is, uh, he's an interesting man. Um, he, he is, um, I said he's an interesting man. Uh, over my over, I've known him for about four years now, and um, he's, as my dad describes it, a kid in a man's body. Yes. Um, so, yes. Um, before before I before I keep going, my second mentor um, is uh, Dale Lee Ford. Woo! Uh, Dale! Um, uh, I, I've. 
I've had some interesting experiences with Dale. Um, <laughs> and when, you know, you, you see the guy on the camp box, but then you also see the math department chair at ETHS. So you see the both sides of it, the serious Dale and then the not so serious Dale as some of us know. Which one's um, the serious Dale? Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that. I don't even know if there is, um, but he has helped me, especially being my project coach for Eagle, he's the one that kind of pushed me through along with my parents. Um, but he's the one that kind of pushed me through that last few months. You know, I was kind of debating finishing this. You know, I, I had procrastinated way too long and I didn't know if I was going to get done, but having Dale as my, you know, I guess you could say sidekick in the situation. He, I feel like I was dragging. Yeah, yeah, yeah drag. Okay, he was the hero, <laughs> I was the sidekick. Um, he pretty much was the, the mastermind behind everything that I was doing during my Eagle Project. He was the one that said, did you get this done? Did you get this done? Are you listening to your parents? Are you listening to your parents? Are you listening to this person? Did you email this person? It was so much coming from him. And I can't thank him enough for what he's done. You know, I, even his family has been a huge part of my scouting career. You know, Joe, um, I've been with the scouts with, what, four years, five years now. Uh, he was my assistant senior patrol leader when I was in charge of the troop, and we had a pretty good year, I would say. And also, um, John, who, um, these two were the ones that I fit into a two-person tent along with me, and that was interesting, because it almost <laughs> broke. Um, but, um, and almost, also Mrs. Leapforth, so whenever I'd come over to your house, she'd always have food ready for us. And, you know, it was always, a, they're such a welcoming family, but, Going back to Dale, he's a different kind of dad, leader, 13-year-old, you know what I mean? It, it's, it's, <laughs> it, it's, a whole, it's a whole line of things that I could say about Dale, but it's, it's mostly his, his humor and just his positive attitude that kind of carries the rest of us through. Um, and that positive attitude also comes from the amount of Swedish fish he consumes during his time in Scouts. <laughs> so I, I brought um, a few, I brought a few for him here. Um, <laughs> They're just, if you would like to take them, um, usually he comes with a big, you know, like a four pound bag of them on a camp out and clears them by the drive, you know, on the way up and we have none for the rest of us. But, um, these are for him. I don't have to share it. Uh, no, no, Forget no. the mentor family. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I just want to say um, thank you to Dale and also Mr. Davis. Um, when I see him, as I said, I will definitely give this to him and talk with him a little bit. But these two, and also along with... Um, all the other scout leaders in the room, you know, um, Mr. Farrell, Mr. Hobson, all the dads, um, Sean, Mr. Vernon, Mr. Castanoltz, um, Jabu, you know, everybody, everybody who's in here and has just been a part of my scouting career, you've all made a difference in my life. Oh, Mr. Fiedler as well, he was part of my, um, oh, and, 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 and of course, Ayana. Um, <laughs> But also, one person who um, kind of started my motivation to become an Eagle Scout is um, my Uncle Doug. Uh, could you stand up, Uncle Doug, quickly? Uncle Doug. Um, he's, uh, hey. uh, he's been, he gave me, uh, I have it actually backstage. Um, he gave me, yeah, yeah. Oh, Uncle Doug, you can come up, actually. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You, can come on. you sure? All right, all right. He gave me, and I will grab it quickly. Excuse me. Come on stage here first. He gave me his Eagle kit from when he became an Eagle Scout, um, and uh, I've uh, I've kept it with me this whole time. And kind of looking at it, I've had it in my drawer all these years. It has not, you know, been touched. I didn't want to ruin anything in it because in here uh, you can actually see it's a lot. Um, it's uh, more interesting. They have all the old. They, you know, they used to have like a tie clip in there and all that kind of stuff. It was kind of cool back then. Now it's just a couple pins for the parents. But, um, no. Um, but this, along with Uncle Doug, you know, I've always wanted to get it um, because so I could have him come in and see me get my eagle. Because um, when I went, we went to North Carolina to visit him and his family, and uh, he talked to me. He goes, "Are you going to go for eagle?" And he goes, "Oh, this is it's a huge honor and everything." And he he goes upstairs and he brings this down. He goes, when you get Eagle, I want you to have this with you. And um, wow. so uh, I will be using his patch on my shirt and also his pin as well um, when I am, you know, walking around and going to scouting events just to honor him and the fact that he was almost the very first person that said, you know, you got to get Eagle, you got to do this. Um, so thank you, Uncle Doug, for everything over the years and, you know, really also helping me to get to this point. So thank you so much. <laughs> So um, before I finish, I think I actually have to pin this pin on Dale. So um, <laughs> yeah, if you like to stand up, it'll be, uh, it's it's gonna be safe. Be safe. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a shot.
Um, that's that's it for me. Thank you. I just I just want to say thank you to everybody. You know, um, as I said, all of you in this room have had something to do with my life. Not even just in scouts, just in high school, and you know, getting through that last few months. Every single one of you changed those few months for me. So I thank you all. Um, I think I pass it back to you now. And um, yeah, thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> Thank you.